Hello, this is Bob Carswell, Faltaeruga Sachlesh, or welcome to this program, which is about the varied and changing face of music making in the Isle of Man today. And I'll be talking to some of the musicians who are making modern Manx music. Greg Jochen, you're involved with the Molog Band, Stair and Kipper Cayley. How did the Molog Band come about? The Molog Band actually came out of... Um, I was approached by a chap in Wales and he was going to put together an album of inter-Celtic music and I thought, oh, that would be rather good. And I got together with a few friends and we rehearsed for a while and we then recorded with Charles Gard over on the knee and it worked quite well, I'd say it myself. After that, we thought, well, I'd like to do a bit more of this. And unfortunately, all of the people that I was working with for that recording, not all of them wanted to go on to do anything else. And so I looked around asking people if they would like to try this contemporary Mm. look at traditional music and it came out of that then went hand in hand with the Cayley band that I was in at the time the Arthur Cayley band and I can remember at the Cruniach 21 years ago Mm. we're 21 now Mm. and we were doing a Cayley it was in that very big marquee that they had and it was like sort of well, everybody stop enjoying yourselves now <laughs> we're going to play you these couple of songs and we did a couple of songs one of which was Unisachvona to a children's rhyme that I just got from a book very highly arranged with lots of vocals and different rhythms in it and I can remember thinking it was a bit of a disaster really well, I say a bit of a disaster. It was a disaster in some respects, but in others it was quite rewarding that we did actually get to do it, and we went on from there. If I were a king, then I would make you a queen. I'd take you in my arms in the meadows, take you in my arms, lay you started in music? I started off at school with Chris Midgley way back when I was eight and the songs of Burl Ives. Oh right. (laughs) For several years I gave up and then started again. 
When you first started playing guitar with Chris Midgley, the fact that you play left-handed, did they ever try to educate that out of you? No, no. <laughs> I wish in a way they had, because <laughs> although it's quite, you know, people note that I play left-handed, I can't play in anyone else's guitar. The times when I've come to look at buying a new guitar, I can't try any guitar. And on my birthday, I thought I'd treat myself to a nice guitar. I decided to buy this guitar from Northworthy. There were two fellows making guitars in the middle of England. And all I could do was listen to him play his variety of guitars. And his style was very different to mine anyways. But it was only from that that I thought, well, I'll go for this one. But I couldn't really try them, which was a pity. With regard to your style, who did you hear and think, I want to do that? Apart from Bill Ives. <laughs> <laughs> Over the years, I suppose various people or I suppose Leonard Cohen I had a book on Leonard Cohen guitar styles which I found that I was able to pick up but were quite rewarding as well mm. and able to work with the styles in my own creative side of playing mm. and also his songs his lyrics and his musical arrangements of songs I think have been quite influenced with as well well, apart from Burl Ives and Leonard Cohen, what other influences have there been on your vocal style or your playing style? If anyone has ever said, oh, it sounds a bit like this or it sounds a bit like that, I've thought to myself, I must try and move away from that because <laughs> I didn't really follow anybody. I didn't really want to be like anyone. Although that's not to say that perhaps you might have heard something and thought, oh, that's quite good guitar style or I thought they sang that particularly well or the lyrics of the song flowed quite nicely I could use that style a bit but really I've always tried to just be myself and to write and to arrange however came along really although we probably do have a style I don't know that I ever thought this style works and so we'll do everything in this way more just every song that came along just arrange it how it, the song felt how you felt towards it the smoke turns high and burns the sky when the hungry dragon roars the rain falls down and burns the ground don't tell me that it's needed for political stability economic viability don't insult the sensibility from the jackdaw cause said to you no the first song I remember writing was when I was about 18, I suppose, and it was a song about the parish walk. I'd been in the parish walk. And I had this little hook of four chords that was quite nice, and quite a nice tune for it. And I wrote these words, 85 miles around the land, <laughs> which, looking back on it, only after a short space of time, I thought was blooming awful. Uh, although the tune was very nice, and I went on then to look at various other lyrics, and in fact did a bit with Colin Jerry, and came up with Lemuel, which is uh, I still play now. And uh, I still enjoy playing now. Valley equipped, 
Shit vanier as a Features of the Moloch band has been the harmonies provided by Sarah, Julie and Hilary. When you ask them to provide harmonies for some of the songs, do you give them parameters to work within or do you leave them? <laughs> two notes, no more than two. <laughs> Three at a push. I think of the creative process, working with the girls, I enjoy the most because it's at that point that it blossoms, it flourishes. And I might have an idea for a chorus or a harmony but usually there's the song here's the chorus let's sit down and work something out and we'll get round the table and using a combination of just playing it and then writing theoretically writing harmonies out and then trying them it's great the way it comes from this a song that i can sing play to then the harmonies or the instrumental parts that are added to it but there's no one method that we've used each song i say there's no one method there probably are ways things that we do but i don't think this is a set way Mm. of dealing with a song it's just what the song seems to require Grasshopper believes in the long green grass on nine days Where their fathers, they have taken the time to choose And only down in the long green grass on nine days Does mother say it's the only place that we can use particularly have made you feel that you really want to write something about it? I suppose in the mid to late 80s when I was most prolific it was political stuff that I was I wanted to make comment about this and that and the other and then after you know as the years went by I write about anything Mm. (laughs) and there was a song that we're doing which is one of our more recent ones and it started off as one thing and ended up as something else and it was only last year that i wrote it i can't now remember what it was about but quite fun a bit more light-hearted these days not as serious 